longer. Is it possible that similarities in design that we observe, this is question number 11, between different animals prove a common creator instead of a common ancestor? Every time you see a biology textbook showing some similarities of design, like the forelimb of the animals or well, anything, they always attribute it as proof for evolution. What is wrong with the creationist position that says God created the animals and plants and they bring forth after their kind and the common designer used a common theme like Ford makes four tires on most of their vehicles because it's a good theme that works. Common designer argument. Ready? Okay. Uh, it's possible but not likely. If you want to posit a designer, posit a bad designer. This is a flounder, and it starts out as a nice symmetrical fish and ends up with its eyes being mushed all over on one side. That's, that's terrific design. Next, please. This is choking. This is another example of great design. Our air passages and food passages cross in the back of the throat. This is a designer who plans, apparently, on 60,000 people a year dying of tracheal obstruction. And this is a designer who will create snoring and apnea in us older folks. Next, please. Snakes can do it just fine. So good design is possible. Next. And here's one for all you guys. This is the male reproductive system, the epitome of bad design. All of you 50 years and up are going to be coping with the fact that one day your prostate gland, poorly designed because it's got tubes running through it is going to enlarge. This prostate gland is going to push back on the urinary bladder and you're going to go get a prostate operation. That is really the ultimate of great design, wouldn't you say? Next, please. Um, design spills over into uh, is someone a, a female or a male. And sometimes things go wrong because we are designed with both female and male systems in our bodies as embryos. Here's an example of something that can go wrong in design. These are four brothers. They had androgen insufficiency because their testosterone was unable to park anywhere in their bodies. They went on and developed the default or female body. So yeah, I'm all for you know, great design and I haven't even started to talk about bad backs or giving birth or anything like that. If you could go back to 64, please, Bob. If we take time to consider biology, we come up with a bumbling and frivolous God. Organisms show stupid mistakes, dysfunctional design features, and odd arrangements and funny solutions are proofs of evolution.